Jonathan, you got a bit of a curtain call today. How does that feel walking around, you know, Camp Randall and saying uh, thank you to the fans? Uh, it, it was something special, and you know, especially because you know you don't know, you don't know, you know, if you're, you're going to be here again. So I think that's the biggest thing is just being appreciative of that opportunity. You know, didn't know that that was going to happen. So you know, once it was going on, you know, you kind of start looking around at the fans like, wow, like. These fans pack this thing in every single Saturday just to watch us see the hard work that we put in and put it on display. So you start being really appreciative. You guys had a lot of success on like Wildcat and Jet Sweeps. How important do you think that was to maybe put a little more on film for Minnesota and just diversify the offense as you guys did? Yeah, it was, it was very important. Uh, you know, still have to clean some things up in, in that in that package. Um, Got to make sure we're, we're having a clean exchange within that that package, but it definitely gives teams a different look, and you know makes them have to defend the whole field. You know we got a player as electric as Aaron um, back there at Wildcat. Uh, you got to make sure that you're playing all areas of the field. What was going through your mind when Zach gets up there and then kicks that 62-yard field goal? So I mean we always know he sends them back to the end zone all the time. So we're like this is either going it's either going to go one or two ways either he's going to drill it right down the middle or he's going to boom it either left or right and but we we had total confidence in him because we know he had the leg power it was just a matter of fact of him you know just kicking it right down the middle and you know him setting that was the school record that should have been the school record right there so um, you can see he was fired up and i think it's always special you know when the whole team gets fired up you know over a special teams play because special teams can definitely uh change the game how did it change? Like, was there a certain boost of energy energy that you felt in the second half for the team after that? It, it definitely was. And I think, you know, it, it came from him, you know, just being pumped up and excited after that kick. I mean, who wouldn't be? You know, you just set a school record for the longest field goal. So I think that was a big thing to see him be the spark, you know, someone to, you know, ignite the team. On the two fumbles, what, what did you see? Was one a hand up? Yeah, in the, in the Wildcat package, like I said, we got to continue cleaning that up. Um, you know, had it a few times where it was good, but you got to make sure it's always on every single time. First one, you know, got to make sure that, <clears throat> you know, when you're going low, taking on contact, you got the ball high and tight, even though that you're going low as well. Um, but we definitely do got to make sure, you know, in that Wildcat package that we, we secure the handoff. Jonathan, this may or may not be your last day of the camp. It's the seniors definitely their last day of the camp. How special is it to go out with a win and to set up next week in Minnesota? Uh, it was real special. And, you know, just like you said, next week, I mean, we don't want to have it any other way. Big Ten West on the line, rivalry game, Axe. I mean, this is why you come to Wisconsin for these kind of moments. And I'm pretty sure we're going to have a great week of preparation in order to bring our A game. I don't want you to make any announcements now. But, I mean, did you think about, hey, this may be it? At the yeah, didn't know. Didn't know. And I think that's why I was so shocked and appreciative, you know, that they, you know, allowed me to do that at the end. Because uh, I really didn't know what was going on. But, uh, really, the biggest thing once I got back in the locker room and you know we got all excited over the win and everybody's locked in on Minnesota now because we know it's a big one coming up. So we got to have our best week of preparation. Aside from that bit of an ovation, was there any time where you were trying to just take everything in? Uh, yeah, I was next to Chris um, during jump around and you know just just sharing that moment with him because I knew that this was his uh, last jump around at the camp. So you know just seeing an expression on his face and, and watching him soak it all up, uh, it's a real special moment. Is starting to play some better football here in the last three weeks. Is it progressing? Other than you know, obviously four turnovers you don't want, but since that happened, do you notice a difference? Yeah, there, there's a bit of a difference. Uh, you know, definitely got to make sure though that you know we don't have any procedural penalties as well. Making sure that you know we're lined up and able, you know, to get the playoff within time, the time limit. So some things we got to clean up, but there's definitely been improvement. Do you feel like this was the last time? Oh, I'm not sure, I'm not sure. And I think that's why I was so appreciative of, you know, what happened at the end during the timeout, just because I didn't know what was happening. So uh, that's why I really appreciate the coaches for that. You've watched Minnesota. What challenges do they possess for you guys? Those guys, they're, they're very explosive. Um, you know, as far as the defense, those guys actually haven't seen it in, in, a, in a while, but they're able to play sideline to sideline very well. So that's going to be a, a challenge, you know, especially when you talk about making the guys play the whole field and, they're able to play the entire field. So then it's going to come down to those one-on-one -on -one matchups and guys are making sure that we win those one-on-one -on -one matchups.